Subscribe to Smartphone Tutorials by clicking on the subscribe button and do remember to click on the notification bell icon to get instant notifications. Voices in my head know me, call me, I will be restless, somehow they chose me, this is my night life. So the good thing for the OnePlus 5T is day by day the amount of custom ROMs that we need or we are getting is just increasing by the day and I'm having a tough time keeping up with the beautiful community who is trying to develop new stuff for our wonderful device each and every single day. Now a few days back what happened is I switched to liquid ROM from the stock ROM and I was planning to use it for 24 hours because that is the amount of time I use the phone for maybe one or two charge cycles before I review it but then again a few things came up especially the laptop review came up and then I had to postpone my flash for AICP, Validus and a few other ROMs but hey the time has come we're gonna review this beautiful ROM liquid ROM for the OnePlus 5T. Now before we begin there are a few things that I would like to share with you guys. First of all I've had my share of problems and bugs and lags and stuff like that despite having a clean install. Now just to put it in perspective whenever I test out a custom ROM or a stock ROM I completely wipe the internal storage I erase everything all the partitions and do a clean flash to ensure that there are no conflicts at all. I didn't even use exposed so that we would get a very very clear indication. Nonetheless, let's see how my experience was with Liquid Remix. Hello awesome people, welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. Let's review Liquid Remix for the OnePlus 5T. Inside, Alright, so before we talk about my experience, let's go ahead and see what all features does Liquid ROM provide, which is mentioned in XDA Developers itself. Now, that's the download link. It supports voice over LTE. So that is a very, very neat and very, very important feature for Indian consumers at least and people who use voice over LTE, SIM cards or service providers. Now, you have a lot of gestures there. You have lock screen shortcuts miscellaneous like alarm blocker wake lock blocker and i'm going to show you all of those on screen as well but let's have a look at it notification heads up notifications then we have the power menu so many customizations for power menu quick settings recent panels you have different types of recents you can customize the status bar oneplus button so there are a lot of oneplus goodies that are added as well music flashlight so the OnePlus gestures are also there. Talking about security, apps with usage access, you have miscellaneous sound fixes or sound mods, tap to wake, device theme can be turned black just like the Oxygen OS and talking about quick settings, you have columns, column landscape, ADB features as well and then there's the flashing instructions. So when I reviewed this particular ROM guys, I was running the latest build and I had really really high hopes with it. but. Uh, you know kudos to the developer for all the hard work they are putting in to this particular ROM and I really really liked it but then again somehow I feel compared to the previous ROMs that I tried at least when I tried uh, at least when I tried Phoenix ROM I found it to be pretty pretty stable all right so as always with all the ROM reviews that I do the first thing that I noticed the first problem that I had was the battery life I struggled to get around more than four or five hours of screen on time now as i told you earlier this was a clean install and let me just show you i'm just using all my basic apps i don't do a lot of gaming because most of the time i'm busy making videos for you guys and i really don't get the time now that said if we go ahead and have a look at the current battery usage itself 58 percent 12 hours left last full charge was seven hours back and look at the screen on time it's one hour 48 minutes so that means it would give me anywhere between three and a half to four hours so for some reason just for some reason maybe this rom needs some more optimization at least when when it comes to battery life but that's okay there that said it's not that it is a bad rom you can definitely install it uh the camera yes you can have a look at the few samples that i have clicked from this particular camera uh the camera for me was notorious as well 
it it would force close it would freeze it would take a really really long time at times and sometimes it would just work fine there you go look at the lag so it is a hit or miss most of the time it works and sometimes it is a letdown and you would not want to do that with a device like this now there you saw on the lock screen it is still processing one of the images now i really fail to understand why would this happen i'm sure the developers are trying their best to give you the best of both features now talking about that uh, let's take a deep dive into the ROM and let's go to settings first. So you have network and internet connected. So Liquid Lounge is the first stop we will stop at. We will have a look at a few features of Liquid Lounge. So if we go to the buttons section. Now the reason I'm going to cover this in detail today is because a lot of you guys have been asking me which ROM has the mo most amount of customization. So we will cover each and every menu here. So if you go to volume lock, volume rocker, these are the options that you have. You can pause the video and you can have a look at it. Then you have gestures. You have AOSP gestures, swipe fingerprint for notification. So I did quite, quite like that and I used it for a few occasions as well. Screen off power torch is there. So that's one more thing added. Now talking about lock screen, Talking about lock screen customization, uh, if we go to lock screen shortcuts, you have different sort shortcuts for left and right, and then you have lock screen weather, media cover art, that's all there. If you go to miscellaneous, you have alarm blocker, wake lock blocker. More or less, I feel, now look at this here. I've kept it as dark style, but it is still in light style. So that's another bug. Now I have faced a lot of bugs in this ROM not to you know say something negative i really appreciate the efforts of the developers and i really really like what they're doing with this particular phone but then again yes it's just a feedback from an end user who loves their rom so that they can make it better for us and kudos to you guys thank you very much for bringing amazing stuff to us and notification bar now this is something i liked in phoenix rom as well this is the fling bar if you tap it once you go to the home screen if you short swipe to the right you get the recent menu. Now, if you are in a particular app, um, say camera, and if you short swipe to the left, you would go out. If you press and hold it, you would have Google Assistant. And if you double tap it, you will have your Google Now page. So the fling bar is one extremely, extremely good customization option. I, I you know, liked it to a point wherein I think device manufacturers should start using it. All right, so with that said and done, you have fling, you have the stock menu bar, which is available in Oxygen OS, and then you have some other options like a customized menu bar for this ROM as well. That is the navigation bar. Now, if we go to notifications, you can control your notifications, vibrate on connect and stuff like that. You have battery lights and stuff like that. So that's another level of customization. If we go to power menu, sorry. So you can go to power menu. You can add all these options to the power menu. Now that is the beauty of a custom ROM. Let's go back. And then you have quick settings. you have recent panel and then you have the status bar customization so that's all the customization in liquid lounge and let's go back to settings anything else that, so there's one plus gestures now this is something that i really really like Be, being a one plus phone something that comes out of the box you get sort of you get used to it so it's, it's good that they have kept the stock experience along with customization. So OnePlus buttons as well is there. So you can customize your buttons like how OnePlus allows you to do it. And last but not the least, we will talk about this particular ROM. Uh, let's go to about phone. This is based off Android 8.1.0, 5th January security patch. That is the liquid ROM for you guys. It's the founder and stuff. So thank you guys for making this beautiful ROM. So to sum it up, what I would like to say about this particular ROM is it has a lot of promising things. 
looks like a very very promising and very very beautiful rom but then again at times i did notice that there were a few lags here and there and uh, there were a few random reboots as well i had two random reboots so as of now smartphone tutorial recommendation if you want to give it a try and not use it as a daily driver you can definitely give it a try but as a daily driver you might face a few more bugs than you would like so that was the review for liquid rom guys three or four more reviews are coming up if you like this video like share and subscribe and don't forget the giveaway for the xiaomi redmi 5a has been extended to february by the end of february if we manage to cross 4000 subscribers as a channel i assure you i will be giving away a brand new xiaomi redmi 5a thank you for your time goodbye